everyone. Welcome to another episode of Keep Pushing. I'm your host, Sajik K. Reddy. And on today's show, we have an amazing uh, individual who um, is doing so much when it comes to disability rights and advocating for disability rights uh, here in Toronto. And he's made some amazing partnerships along the way. And we're going to learn from him how he did what he did and, uh, and uh, what his plans are for the future. Terrence, welcome to the show. Yeah, great to be here. Good to, good to nice see you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. yeah. So tell us from the beginning, tell us, give us a little bit of a history of who Terrence Bishendale is. Well, uh, my family and I, we came to uh, Canada in uh, 2000, uh, during the fall of 2000. And uh, it wasn't right away I started attending school, but eventually, I, eventually we stayed because we came as visitors. So I enrolled to a school called North Kipling Junior Middle School, where I actually am st I still live in the same neighborhood, as, as a matter of fact, down at uh, Kipling Studios in Toronto. Uh, so I started school it was roughly in uh, 2002. I graduated from that school in, uh, in about 2009. Uh, same year, I actually started high school. I worked in the Collegiate Institute. And in um, uh, 2016, I started school at um, uh, Humber College, North Campus, studying uh, journalism um, in my uh, second year. And so far, things are going very good, and I'm still learning as I approach my uh, third and final year. So uh, what really got me started in, um, let's say, uh, disability awareness is, uh, I guess I would say it started in, um, while I was in high school, still attending um, Martin of Collegiate Institute. Um, at the time, I didn't realize I was getting involved in disability awareness or bringing about issues that uh, were at the school at the time. But uh, eventually, it did start it. And uh, that's when I got familiar with the word called uh, advocacy, which means to speak up for uh, whether it's yourself or someone else. And from there, that's where my journey began, in, from high school pretty much to where I'm at now. Great, fantastic. Yeah. So, so tell us a little bit about uh, where you're at now in terms of, I know from reading about you and, uh, and, and kind of doing my research about you, that you've developed a very uh, great partnership with the TDSB and specific individuals within the TDSB. And so what is it that you guys, uh, how did you guys come together and what did you guys, or what are you guys, rather, uh, working on together? So while I'm not officially employed at the TDSB, I have uh, been uh, in partnership with them for quite some time. Going back to my final year of high school, I was um, in grade 12 when I met uh, trustee Chris Glovers at um, a forum he was hosting at, at my school at the time, which uh, I was um, working with collegiate. So since in uh, January of 2013, we have connected and managed to stay in contact since. And uh, this year, back in January, he invited me to one of his other forums, which is about uh, giving, this, giving uh, employment opportunities to people with disabilities, especially those who are getting out of high school, what sort of next steps and improvements they could provide for him. Which and in, uh, this motion was passed by the TDSB back in January. And since then, we've been on a roll of, you know, raising more awareness about it, what we can do to help it. And uh, it's been a good start in the last few months, and it's still all right. Very, very good. Uh, so we have such a wide audience out there. We're on Roku TV. We're on YouTube. Uh, we're live streaming today on, on, those, on, on uh, YouTube and Facebook as well. Um, and so what message? Do you have, because uh, you're a young gentleman, younger than I, yeah. and you're doing so much, and it's coming from your heart, and you're wanting to do this stuff. So what message do you have to all those folks out there who are differently abled, who are watching us uh, from around the world? What, what message do you have to them to keep pushing, and to keep fighting, and to keep being advocates for people with disabilities? Well, uh, my advice would be um, to just go for it. Go for your dreams, goals, wishes, desire, whatever it is. Go for it and don't turn back. Go all the way or don't go at all. Is that, I wouldn't say it's that easy, but it's a decision you end up looking at 
is this something okay? I'm passionate about, want to chase after, want to uh, help others or help yourself, or maybe it's a personal thing. You find, okay, I got the skills for, I don't know, maybe writing, photography, or something in the arts, or something somewhere else. Just go for it and make sure it's what you want. Sometimes you may not even know what, what it is that you want. Just the way I say it, take the opportunity. It's either the opportunity turns out to be something wonderful or something not wonderful. And that's just the way life is sometimes. Just it's sometimes not good, sometimes it's not bad. I just say if you're not sure about what's being presented to you, I say take the opportunity and take take a shot at it. But if you're certain, okay, this is something Let's say maybe you're interested in writing. If that's something you really are passionate about, there shouldn't be no thoughts about it, hesitation. Go for it. Even if people put you down, say hurtful things, or just don't support you at all. It doesn't matter what they think, because at the end of the day, it's where you're at and where you would like to be, and where you would like to chase yourself and maybe push yourself towards in the future. Fantastic, fantastic. Great advice, great advice. Uh, yeah, you, your your story really uh, really captivated me, and really I wanted to have you on. Um, so, what's in your future? What's in the, your future for Terrence? Um, at this point in time, it's to be honest, no one can really know what's in their own future. Just right. How I should say though, what do I hope to accomplish and go for? Um, I hope to raise more awareness in the disability community. Okay. But not just keep my focus on the disability community because. I am a disabled gentleman, but also to raise awareness on other kinds of issues that that uh, that goes around around the, goes on around the world. Like mm -hmm. uh, uh, recently, like we know about the gun violence in the in the high school in the Florida, but mm -hmm. raise awareness and stuff like that too. And mm -hmm. I personally, I never had a you know experience like that. Mm -hmm. I never had to been through it. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for that. Mm -hmm. But there are people who have been, and like to hear their side of the story, mm -hmm. hear what they would like to do about it. Mm -hmm. and get all the support they need, just like any disability-related issues. I say go for it and don't turn back, is what I uh, just said not, not too long ago as well. Mm -hmm. So what I see in my future is one thing for sure, I would like to continue helping others, whether it's in, disabled, uh, in the disability community or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. like, uh, like I said, uh, maybe an issue about bullying, gun violence, whatever it may be. And that's where I see myself headed, or I like to be in the future. Fantastic, fantastic. You know, um, once again, we have so many people around, this, around the world watching us. We're thankful for all our viewers. And uh, you're, you're a great example of what a young person with any kind of ability can do uh, if they put their mind to it. You've got a lot of heart. You've got a lot of um, courage and strength and power. And uh, your mindset is just amazing. I love it. So it's been great to have you on. Uh, if people want to get a hold of you and want to help you in what yes. you're doing right now, your journey, your mission, your vision, please uh, tell them uh, where we, they can get a hold of you. Um, so I'm on Facebook. Uh, my name is uh, Terrence Bishonil. That's T-E-R-R-E-N-C-E, Bishonil, which is B-I-S-H-U-N-D-A-Y-A-L. I'm also running a Facebook page uh, called Terrence B Corner, which I believe the username is also at Terrence B Corner. But uh, Instagram also at Terrence B Corner, which again is T E R R E N C E B C O R N E R. But when when you punch out in Instagram, you will see a few other accounts. But that's that would be the main one. Okay. And uh, Twitter, the the handle is at T underscore Bishanil. Again, the last name is B I S H U N D A Y A L. Yes. And for other accounts, you can find them on these social media accounts as they're uh, the ones I use more often. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, for, for those of you who are watching live, you're not going to be see, able to see it now, but once we put it up on YouTube, uh, you'll be seeing pictures of stuff that Terrence has been doing, videos as well, and also you'll be seeing all those social media links uh, be put up for you to view uh, and, and follow him and get a hold of him for whatever projects you may think that he uh, would be good for, uh, for, for what you're doing out there. Um, my name is Sajit K. Reddy. Once again, this has been Keep Pushing. Uh, you can get a hold of me through my Facebook page, Keep Pushing TV Show. And um, I invite you all to keep pushing towards whatever goal, dream, desire, want, need you have. Don't give up.
Take care. See you soon. We all